Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. I am an independent contractor and trainer. In this episode, I'm going to take a look at benchmarking C++ performance. So we've got two different examples here, where we've got our string str, and we need to initialize it with one of many values, depending on what value is passed into us. So we have this int val, and we are doing a modulus on it, and we're saying, well, if the modulus is 0, then 0, otherwise 1, 2, and other is our final option for our default. It's a kind of contrived example and not necessarily something that you would do in real code with standard string, but it is representative of this mentality that you should const everything you possibly can. And if you get it into your mind that you want to const this string because you know that it is not needing to be mutated later in the function, then you need to come up with a creative way of initializing it with one of our four potential values. And in our second example, we are using an immediately invoked lambda, which is the C++ equivalent of ify or iife, the immediately invoked function expression from JavaScript. And we're simply saying we want to define a lambda. We want to capture everything by reference by default. It takes no parameters. And then we want to execute it immediately. So we know this capture by reference right here is perfectly safe because our lambda does not live for more than the lifetime of this expression. And therefore, it is impossible for it to hold a reference to something that is going to be popped from the stack before the lambda is. So we have our two examples, and we're looking in the Compiler Explorer, and we see an awful lot of code is generated. And we can make some interesting observations that we have many different functions being called here for our reassignment in our uh, do thing version. And down in do thing two, we are only calling the constructor once and we don't have any other reassignment or other function calls being generated. But what kind of difference does this make really? So we have here a new website called quick-bench.com and this is definitely not a site that I created or anything and in fact I am not... here we go. Um, Fred here has created this website for us, and it is excellent. I suggest that you go check it out. And we're going to be able to use this to actually play with our code that we were just looking at in the Compiler Explorer to see what kind of impact these changes have. So we have our example where we are returning 0, 1, or 2, depending on what's going on, and we are calling it with two different args just to see that we can get possibly different results depending on the size of the string that has been returned. And we notice uh, maybe some interesting things straight away. The first with this run is that we're seeing our Lambda version with a dash, zero, a dash 03 optimized build is noticeably faster than the version we're doing a string reassignment. And this is what we expected. But we can start to see, first of all, that our other string, when we're calling it in this version, is actually considerably slower than the version that is a single character. So we can modify our string to make it longer so that it's something that f falls outside of the small string optimization. And let's go ahead and do that. and see how this affects the benchmark. Well, we can see here with our longer strings and in our one case that our timing is getting much worse now for the string lambda. And we might wonder why this is, because we're following our rule of consting everything. But it's worth noting that in this particular code, we are actually returning a const car star from our lambda, which is valid. But maybe we would want to instead return a string and construct the string inside of the lambda and return that and see what kind of impact that has. And we can do that by specifying with a trailing return type what our lambda should be returning, or we could have done it here. But for the sake of this, we will specify it with the trailing return type. And now we can see that our lambda is become significantly faster. 
And this is, you know, interesting to note, and this falls into the category of, you know, always measure before you make performance changes. And now with our quick-bench.com website, we've got some interesting ways to do this. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and check out any of the links below.